Hi everyone, it's James here, going to do a quick VCLT video. Had some amazing gifts from people, totally overwhelmed by people's generosity and kindness. Um, Ian, Tractor Countdown, sent me uh, his CD. Um, this is uh, Postcards from the Hedge. Ian, he kind of came into the VC, he made some VC type videos, you know, talking to camera about records and then I think he might have taken them down or decided he was going to not do that for a while and now what he does, he just uploads uh, his own songs, he makes videos for the songs and he just uploads them to his channel. Really good stuff, kind of quirky English songwriting. It veers, actually, it kind of veers from more kind of bluesy territory with maybe sort of, you know, beef hearty vocals all the way through different genres, you know, folk rock and a bit of um, quirky English humour coming through, uh, you know, Sid Barrett style songwriting. I think there's a song on this album about his jumper, I've Got a Brand New Jumper, I think Half Man Half Biscuit. Uh, quirky, good stuff, well played, good band on this record actually. So check out Ian's channel, Tractor Countdown, I'll put the link down below. Give him your love and support. Thank you, Ian. Very kind. I actually got in touch with Ian and asked him if he had a CD, you know, meaning could I buy one off uh, off you? And he just sent it to me. So wonderful stuff. Um, John Downing, Sitchin's pianist. Uh, he knew that I wanted a copy of this record. When we met up last in Leeds, he knew I was toying with buying a copy in the record fair that we'd um, gone to, but I put it back because the price or the condition wasn't great. I can't remember what. Uh, John found this copy recently. He's not a big fan of Joni, I don't think. I'm not a massive fan of Joni Mitchell, but I do love this record, and it's one that I wanted. Kind of a grail for me. It's really hard to find it in good condition in the UK, so thank you, John. Brilliant stuff. Okay, now, Steve Carlson. I'm sure I don't need to introduce Steve to anybody. Marvellous chap, marvellous channel, and uh, he just totally knocked my socks off with this. I'd made a video, I don't even remember which video it was now, but I was talking about records that I've lost over the years I think and I happen to mention that I lost this record it just totally vanished from my collection back in the 90s and Steve even though he lives in another country uh, sent this to me this is a craft recordings 35th anniversary reissue uh, of the Violent Femmes so it just blew me away when I opened the parcel and, and uh, saw what you sent there Steve that is just so amazing thanks ever so much just incredible um, and then he also sent me this, which uh, I don't know this album, and I've not got around to listening to it yet, but I will do, and I will report back when I do. Nathan Salzberg, third. My understanding, this is a kind of acoustic singer-songwriter kind of record. There's your man on the back. So I shall look forward to that, Steve. So, yeah, thanks thanks very much again. I don't know what to say. It just, it just blows my socks off when you know people send stuff. And um, stuff that's wanted, you know, stuff that you've been looking for for years, to have it come through the door um, f completely free of charge, it's just amazing. Same theme, really. Now, this this is a chap, I don't think he makes videos. He's called um, Sean, and uh, he was kind enough to send me this record, which he'd seen me... Um, talking about in a couple of videos I think I keep buying Grace Jones albums thinking it's the one that I'm looking for and I always end up getting the wrong one this is the actual grail one that I've been after for absolutely ages Grace Jones Slave to the Rhythm and um, yeah he just sent it to me just completely out of the blue um, yeah my mind is blown what more can I say Sean incredibly kind of you incredibly generous and um, yeah yeah, I'm eternally in your debt. And then he also sent me, um, I know the name of this band, but I don't know their music. This is the Tragically Hip and the album uh, Road Apples. And this one um, is a music on vinyl, 180 gram audiophile vinyl pressing. So just looks fantastic. I'm looking forward to uh, checking that one out. Thank you, Sean. Sean's a chef, apparently. He wrote to me and told me I've got his letter here. And um, yeah, he's a chef, so good stuff so yeah so Steve and Sean top top men you are uh, right uh, now this next load of stuff here is from Headley another fat bearded man talking about records this is quite funny because Headley sent me a message uh, a couple of days ago saying um, uh, have you received a parcel from me 
And I said, uh, no. And he said, oh dear, because I sent one and it was meant to get to you by the 5th of January. So I left it a couple of days. And then I noticed on the floor, Steve, Steve's parcel, which I'd already opened, I'd just propped the empty carton on the floor. And behind it was Headley's package. I'd opened Steve's one, put that on the floor with Headley's one behind. Didn't realise that Headley's was there. So anyway, I found it. And uh, Headley needs no introduction, I hope. Check him out if you haven't done already. Great, uh, great guy uh, from West Yorkshire into his country rock and his country. And he sent me, he sent me this record, which I didn't have in my collection. This is Empire Burlesque by Bob. I don't think it's, it's one of Bob's best efforts, but I think Headley knew from watching my Bob collection video that I didn't have it. I think Headley listened to it and was quite happy to pass it on. I haven't listened to it yet, so I'm going to reserve judgment, but it's great to have it for the collection. Uh, just fills in a gap, so there we go. Lovely jubbly, Empire Burlesque. And these next two, uh, I do know the name of this band. It's a band that I've seen Headley show before on his channel. It's the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And this is this is an interesting looking double album with lots of psychedelic stuff going on on the insert. Uh, Stars and Stripes Forever, it's called. It has a very intriguing cover. And we have uh, Inners. Inners. So... I would imagine this is country rock, I'm kind of guessing. Um, yeah, Headley mentioned that I'd enjoyed the Dillard's collection that I picked up last year, which uh, they're a kind of legendary country band, really. And yes, you're right, I did enjoy that record. So he says, uh, I thought you may like the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. This two-disc set is rather sprawling, but pretty decent. Um, so, yeah, I shall look forward to that, Headley. Thank you very much indeed. And this one, I know nothing about this. This is the Sunderland Brothers. Uh, and Quiver. I have heard of Quiver. And this is Dream Kid. And yeah, can't tell you anything about it. I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, I will be reporting back on all these records after I've heard them. The Sutherland Brothers. They seem just the sort of 70s rock that's up your alley. So I shall look forward to that. So thank you, Headley. Very, very kind. Again, completely unsolicited, unexpected. Brilliant. Uh, and the final one today uh, from John Bellamy, down in South Wales. John, you are ever so naughty. John heard me talking about David Bowie in a video, and I mentioned I didn't have the pinups album, so he sent it to me. I think he even sourced a brand new copy and sent it to me. This is the only David Bowie album from the 70s that I didn't have. I used to see it a lot in record shops, but I would never pick it up because I think I was aware that it was a covers album, and I was always looking to pick up the Bowie original albums first and foremost, so I used to save the, save the money back, uh, you know, to buy those. So I ended up not buying this album, and then of course you can't get it anymore. I mean, I, I bought all my David Bowie albums from Oxfam and charity shops back in the day for, you know, £2.50 a go. Now, of course, they've completely disappeared, so I kind of missed the boat on pinups, uh, so it's great to have that, John. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, I can't thank you enough guys, I genuinely don't know what to say, your generosity is truly mind-blowing and staggering and it just, yeah, yeah, I don't know what else to say <laughs> other than thank you very much and as far as the rest of you are concerned, I hope you enjoyed seeing those gifts and I'll see you soon, take care, bye-bye.